Hey everyone, what's up? This is Blaze. Welcome to my final test room. What I think is going to be my final test room video for the Spring 2015 test room. And uh, you know what? I've been using my energy gear so much. And I always use this mount because, I don't know, this is like my favorite mount. Plus it goes pretty well with the gear that I use on my life. But I've been using this energy gear so much that I kind of forgot. I mean, I'm not used to seeing my character riding this mount as... My actual you know skeleton gear Halloween hat gear so <laughs> there's that um yeah I need to get used to using this but I mean on live room I n I'm on test room right now but on live room I never switch to my regular gear because I don't need to I mean there's nothing for my life to really do if I'm going to do battles and stuff then I'll switch to my storm and do that I mean I can't even like remember the last battle I was in on my life wizard just because I don't really need to do too much. I mean, I don't need Darkmoor gear. I don't really farm too much. I mean, I guess I farmed a little bit for gold on my life. But <laughs> other than that, not too much. So I decided to switch to this for Testron because I don't really care too much about energy. I mean, I get 100 energy with this gear and 161 with my other gear. So the 61 makes a difference. But uh, on to what this, actual, what this video is actually about. And I'm on Testron right now. And I think this is going to be the last week for Testron. So this will be the third week that they've been testing the new stuff that we've seen. And to be honest, I uh, really enjoyed this test room. I think it was pretty awesome. I'm just going to be kind of talking about my final thoughts in this test room. And, you know, when it comes to live realm, what's going to be happening with all that. And it says that this test room will end on Friday, April 10th. So I assume that's going to be the last week. I mean... Only for like major worlds, like new worlds, I would I can understand how they would need more time to test that. But this doesn't seem like it needs another week of testing. It seems like after this week, it's like okay, I think we're good. And then uh, maybe next the week after that, we can see uh, it being delivered to Live Realm, which would be awesome because uh, there's a lot of stuff on here. But I don't want to spend too much time farming on Test Realm. I mean. Because, I, I mean, yeah, I could farm, like, the Battle of the Bands and the Tanglewood Tear Gauntlets and hopefully get something. But, I mean, I'd rather just wait for a live roam and then go crazy farming because, I mean, test roam doesn't really matter too much. And, I mean, if I get the mount, I'd, you know, much rather get it on the live roam. So, I think I'm just going to wait. Let's go to the comments. I think I just wait for it on to be delivered to the live roam. But... Otherwise, I mean, it seems like this test room, there's a lot of stuff that just takes time to get. Like, the fishing takes time. The uh, farming for jewels takes time. Farming for the crafting reagents to be able to craft the new jewels takes time, at least for high level. I mean, it requires, like, orc halcum. Let me go and see if I can find that. Where is it at? Uh, drop. Or not. Okay, let's just go all. There's this new reagent that apparently I can't find. I know what it looks like. How, how do I not see it? Oh, I think I have it on my storm. Yep. I got it on my storm as a drop. But yeah, there's new reagents that drop from, from that uh, boss in Darkmoor. The new boss in Darkmoor. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's going to be, like, you need to farm for in order to get it. So, I'm just going to wait for that. Nothing else for me to really do. And I'm really looking forward to completing these Dragon Spire fishing quests on Live Realm. I'll be doing a fishing series on that. And uh, what else? I'm just going to kind of go through everything again. Let me scroll up on the update notes. And we'll just kind of go over uh, my final thoughts on everything. So starting with the jewels. The jewels are a great addition. And I never really looked at this gear with jewels. Do these have any? Does Jade Gear not have any? Uh... Oh wait, it's not gear. What am I talking about? Um, my Cosmic Chris does, because this is the gear that I'll probably be using as a tank set, because this is my tank set with my Jade gear, so maybe I could put some sockets on the Cosmic Chris, Jewel of the Shadow Web has two, which, yeah, I'll probably, I'll definitely be using this, I mean, there's nothing really else that I need, I don't need any mastery, any amulets, and how much does Dying Star have? The Dying Star only has one. But I may switch to... What is the other one that I use? Um, Was the Dying Star? Yeah, the Dying Star has like, the most outgoing heals. I think that's what I'll be using. This one has three. It's only level 35. 
It's kind of weird which ones have a lot of sockets and which ones don't. Stone of the other side I use a lot. That one has three. I wish the Ring of the Dying Star had three sockets. That'd be sick. But I guess not. And... I don't know. I never really did anything with my pet. But th this video is not about my life wizard stats. It's about... My final thoughts on this test realm. So... Uh, the jewel stuff is going to be awesome. Uh, it's pretty random on what you get. And you just kind of have to hope that you get good stuff. I don't even think you can transfer jewels to other characters. If I'm not mistaken. I don't think you can. So... I don't know, probably for my life wizard it's going to be hard for him to get good jewels, because I won't be using him as much, but I don't know, I probably should get in the habit of you know, using him more to try to get some good tank type of jewels, like resist or block, something like that. But yeah, jewel, the jewel system is amazing, and I think it's just going to continue to be updated in the future, and uh, you know, it's going to be, it's going to change the game in a really great way, I think. So, let's see what else we got. Uh, the one shot gauntlets are pretty awesome. I mean, they're 500 crowns each, but if you have, like, four people that want to do it, you can kind of switch off on who's going to buy it, and I don't know how much I'm going to farm it, but, you know, at least a, a few times, and I don't really expect to get the mount, because it's like a horde pack where the mount's going to be pretty rare, so <laughs> not everyone's going to have that, but I don't know, in a way, it seems like this mount is even more rare than the horde packs, because it's, it's, I don't know, like, the horde packs are really easy just to buy it, 399 crowns, buy it, and see if you get the mount. This one you have to do the entire gauntlet to do it, uh, and some more crowns, so, I don't know. Kind of an interesting new thing to the game with these one-shot gauntlets. I'll probably do them a few times, but I don't think I'll do it, like, every day. I mean, 500 crowns a day is kind of a lot, so, I don't know, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, one-shot gauntlets are awesome, they'll probably add more of those in the future. Uh, Dragon's Fairy Fishing already mentioned, uh, I'll be doing a series on that. And, I mean, the only thing I don't like about Dragon's Fire Fishing is the lava makes it really hard to see the fish sometimes. So, maybe they'll kind of tone it down on the lighting in Dragon's Fire with the fishing. That would be my uh, kind of request for that. But it's a new fishing mechanic with the Sentinels, so that'll be fun once we start doing that. I think I may have mentioned it in my Dragon's Fire video uh, that I was going to make another episode. But I think I'm just going to wait until Live Realm now. Because at this point, it's like they're just finishing up, you know, getting the final touches on everything. And I think it'll be ready to go in the live realm soon. Join a team, never really looked at that. Uh, new skeleton bosses are pretty awesome. I'll be farming for... I think I'll be farming the Mushu one for my storm spell. Because I think the Mushu one drops the new storm spell. I never really saw the spells yet. But, uh, I don't know. I mean, they're just five pip spells that are kind of... Uh, it's, it's almost like they're a combination of two spells together. And I never saw the animations for them yet. But I will, hopefully, <laughs> soon. And, um... Yeah, I'll try to get the drop of that on my storm. I don't know if I want to go for the life spell on my uh, my life character, but uh, we'll have to see. So, I think it's basically it. But yeah, really excited for this to arrive in the live realm. Oh, the badges are going to be really useful. I mean, they should have done this a long time ago, but I'm glad they finally did. I have actually a lot of badges on my life. I only have 57 badges that I don't have out of 250. So, I have quite a few badges on my life wizard. So, I think that's about it. I'm just waiting for this to uh, go into Live Realm soon, which uh, should be, I would guess, next week if I had to guess. Because it doesn't seem like they need another week. I mean, if they go for another week, then that means they spend a month working on this. I mean, yeah, the jewel stuff is a lot, but it's not like it's a new world. And I think we can expect it soon. So, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed it and are excited for this to be... Uh, brought into live room then go to leave a like on the video subscribe if you're new for more videos in the future I think this week. I'm going to be working on the pirate walkthrough. We're getting really close to finishing that up and then uh, I may Do a what, what else do I have? Do I have any wizard videos that I'm thinking of doing? Not really. I don't know. I may find something but uh, yeah, just stay tuned for all that subscribe for more videos and I will see you all next time